Bedroom <laughs> It's so great to be back. Yeah. You know, it feels like a long time. It does. We hope you guys enjoyed our bonus video. Thank you so much to Sivu and Bessie's sister for allowing us Thanks, to have our in studio. But yeah, so today we just decided to do a little bit of like a story time yeah. slash year reflection. Mm -hmm. um, looking back at some of the things that were relevant in our lives this year mm -hmm. and some of the things we don't want to take into the next six months. Yeah. Right? So if you guys want to reflect with us and chat and chill, Just grab a, a nice coffee, story time. grab a tea, grab some hot chocolate, and stick, stick around! around. Chatting to these guys offline yeah. about <laughs> something I've realized about myself, which is, uh, I guess it's a weakness, right? A vice, yeah. A vice, that's yeah. the word. To so do this thing where I tend to overstretch, overcommit, pay bills that I shouldn't be paying. Yep. <laughs> just offering some You just got coffee and cake right now. You just got a you, you sure? like, we're at, yeah. we're at coffee just yeah. now. Yeah. But then, I mean, it's nice. She was like, yeah. huh? Do you want some coffee? Yeah. I've got you. You want yeah. some cake? I've got you. We're like, are you sure? She's like, come on. I'll pay your student loan. Nasmus, I've got you. Are you going to Belleville at 9 p.m.? I'll drive you. That's Sharon. No, that, oh, that's Sharon. Girl. There's just this need to offer. Oh, we're yeah. just like, what is this? So we we busy setting up here in the room. We sent her to get us coffee. <laughs> Next thing, she's offering her flatmate to go get steam bread. We're like, Shaz, you don't have your car. Where are you going to get it? She's like, no, I'm going to Uber to Uber to, to all. <laughs> like, 20 to 50 minutes away. <laughs> and then if, if it's closed, it's fine. I'll just go to Belleville. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's stretching. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've learned that that's advice. And the plan is the next six months to try and not do it as much. And to see here actually said something interesting around the thing with locking yourself into plans is that you don't get to consciously think of where do I want to invest mm. and then plan your time accordingly versus just locking mm. e everywhere. Every I mean, I haven't seen you in a while. Coffee, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, dinner, Tuesday. <laughs> what? On me. On me. Yeah. Mm. So I'm trying to get that right. So that's. Have you, have you figured why you do it? Um, not entirely. I think a part of it is it does release endorphins. Mm. So in that moment, I'm just like, yeah. I do think my idealism of wanting to continuously just be in the moment and be happy It's just like, oh, I just want to stretch our happiness yeah. And if more coffee is going to make it's us all fun. happy, let's just be happy um, So I do think a lot of it is that um, And then a part of it is, I guess, a sense <coughs> of responsibility Where I feel like, oh, I just want to just want to make sure everything's just good for everyone um, But also yeah. the thing is, it reads It actually, like, at face value, it mm. reads like friendly, kind, nice, yeah. you know. But I think it's only when it tips over to like Sharon, but you don't have you stretch yeah. yourself, like you're thin now. Now you're thin. Then the that suddenly becomes a problem. But I mean yeah. I think I still think it's a noble quality. You know how parents always say too much of a good thing is bad? Yeah. And I think it's definitely like one of those it just becomes a dangerous one actually. Mm. Because you set up expectations, it might lead to burnout. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. I think you've seen burnout on yeah. the horizon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have had the flu for a month and a half. <laughs> And chronic fatigue. My doctor was like, I could prescribe things, but actually just go home. Go home and sleep. Wow. That's when I was like, actually. Yeah. You're not yeah. taking it into the. No, next the next six months I'm gonna do better. Yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. yeah. So for me, being in final year medicine now, you have a lot of independence. Yeah, I mean, the patient is your patient. If you don't yeah. say that this is what must happen, it won't happen. Type of thing. So it's almost like when you move in the different like uh, blocks, now you're doing neonates, you're doing this, you keep feeling this imposter energy you just feel yeah. like shucks mm. i'm gonna get found out that i don't they're going to say how did we let you into final year yeah. you know surely we should take you back to fourth year or something <laughs> like there's something yeah. in, in you that's always like mm. you know especially in those first few weeks you just kind of like shucks shucks mm. something is going to be discovered that i actually don't know yeah. and i think that sort of keeps it's like such a prison yeah because no step is sure yeah just like Mm -hmm. Until you do something, or maybe you're in a ward round, and then you're like, you're answering, and you're yeah. feeling good, and you're like, no, I'm actually, actually I'm not an imposter. <laughs> actually, I actually no, I know. Yeah. but it's a bit sad that it starts that way. That it first mm -hmm. starts with this kind of like scary, not even scary, but like not trusting yourself. Yeah. And then it's only after you've accomplished something that you feel, well, then I'm worthy. Mm. How about just just know that you yeah. can? Just know mm. that you can. You reached here yeah. because of something. Because yeah. you've actually worked. And I think maybe it's, it's an incapacity to like acknowledge your work. Like it's like yeah. you, you never realize that what you're doing is actually work. Mm. Mm. So to be able to say, I worked hard for this. Because sometimes even like when he's like, I worked hard, he's like, I didn't really work. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. And it's 
like it's hard because it's like people will be like, oh, you did really well, mm-hmm. and you're like, mm-hmm. I just kind of like, for me, I, 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 just, I wasn't studying for yeah, five weeks for that, yeah, like you know what I mean? Yeah. And you almost can't accept that yeah. thing if you say you work really hard because yeah. really, you're like, I really don't. I could have yeah. done more. I really could have done more. Yeah. yeah. So when do you, when do you when do you just take it and just stop mm-hmm. feeling like you like a voyeur? Bro? Yeah. Yeah. I really relate to that because I, I experience a lot with my PhD. Um, sometimes like I have a deadline with my supervisors, and I've done, guys, I'm, I've done the work, like yeah. it's there. But I'm like, oh, <laughs> like really, like Lynn, my 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 colleague, the guy I work with, like he's always like, oh, what more do you want? Yeah. And you're just like, literally, guys, can be like a week later after the time it was actually done. Yeah. Because in my mind, I'm like, it's not good enough. They, I mean, they can get the circuit. Yeah. But then what it prevents you from doing is actually learning in the moment, right? Because yeah. you, you don't know how to go ask for help because it feels like you should know that, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, so it's this constant like. And literally, guys, avoiding my supervisor, being like, I'm full on board, I don't want to see yeah. her. If she's coming in, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh my god. But then it's like, the paper on the floor. <laughs> like, on the ground, like, bloody things in all of a sudden. <laughs> because you, you just, you don't want to, like, face the day to day because yeah. it's this constant feeling like, I should be further than what I am. Yeah. But then, when, you, but then, like, a year later, you realize that at that time, how was I supposed to be further? Like, yeah. I just started. Like, yeah. like, I actually had this conviction at the beginning of the year. I got back in January and I had like a week in and I was like, I'm not doing enough good. Mm-hmm. And literally it was almost like the Holy Spirit just said to me, see you it's literally like walking into like uh, the scene, eh? Yeah. It's still the sandy area and you're acting like you're drowning whilst you're standing yeah. on the sand. Oh, wow. It's like, yeah. you don't know what's going on, you're trying to go to your ulava. Yeah. I'm solid. Faggy life jacket. Just stand, stand, stand. Stand up. Like just stand up. Yeah. It's crazy. Yo, yo, yo. I remember the one time being in the boardroom and like explaining something, <laughs> and in my head I'm like, ah, oh, I'm not as smart as they all think they're I am. Mm. But they're nodding, so let me just continue. <laughs> if you're nodding, <laughs> I mean, they I'm like sorry. it. Yeah, but I'm also like, I'm gonna go yeah. like, <laughs> if they're not stuck, you're like, oh, they're fine. They're, <laughs> they're just they're like, they're probably gonna find me tomorrow. <laughs> they're having a discussion about me in that boardroom. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, guys are relaxed, having tea and laughing. <laughs> an imposter mm. it's, it's crazy an imposter mm. but it's even the praise thing because that's the other thing I realised with my novel so if you're like ah oh, you know you're brilliant no no I mean Chimamanda's brilliant oh, I don't know I'm a <laughs> where you feel the need to deflect things and you can't just be like yeah, like yeah. You're, yeah. the worst incident was this girl who came up to me and she was like this was now in Cavendish and she was like what an honour to meet you ma'am I was like what the ma'am. 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 Yeah. But yeah. I wonder then when when will you ever like fit your clothes? Mm. If you always think Reject. that like you you everything you just like no 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 I'm I'm not like this is that's too big of a jacket for yeah. me. No, I can't like you're pulling these things trying to make <laughs> yeah. dude when yeah. will you ever fit your clothes? You know, I, I always always think like today is yesterday's prayer, right? Mm. There was a time where you were hoping, praying yeah. for this thing so yeah. hard, and then when it's come, now you, you undervalue it almost because you kind of like I reject you what reject it. it. Is. You're like, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. But like, okay, so so then when do we when do we mm. enjoy? Mm. Just enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing going, in, I was I was telling these girls last week. I went home last week, and my brother and <laughs> his girlfriend, we all went to the Grand Sound Festival. Also, awesome, right? Cool. So we go to the store. These vendors, like, because they have like vendors yeah. that clothes, and I see this fur jacket and I've been wanting a fur jacket for a while because I think they're really cool especially in winter like they just change the look mm. right so then I go to the shop and I see and this lady's about to pick this jacket I'm like oh my I'm like this is so beautiful and as I'm about to touch it she like almost pulls it and then goes to pay for it and I'm hacked like I'm literally like hacked for like about 10 minutes mm. we were walking on the street my brother's like just get over it like mm. just like be happy now but I'm like why would she do that like why would she take that jacket she saw I was about to do whatever we walk around Later on, I find another fur jacket. I really love things with like fine details. I see one that has like these little round gold things. I'm thinking, this, this is me. Like this, mm-hmm. this me and this jacket. You know, God had saved this up for me. This is what I'm thinking as I'm walking to it. And I'm like looking at it. My brother's girlfriend comes by. She holds it. Like she's also just like in no form. Like no, she's just like looking at it as I was. All of a sudden, the girl's like, you want to fit it? <laughs> you, you say this. This is me. Do you, yeah. you want to fit it? She fits it. It looks great on her. Mm-hmm. But she wasn't really sure, like she wasn't like really convinced. She wasn't particularly looking for a fur jacket. Yeah. Um, now I really want to fit this jacket, but I'm like, it's too late. Like you already really offered. Yeah, you already oh, offered oh, her oh. to fit it, but then she's like, ah, whatever. So I'm like, just this is me. Hide it at the back so no one else takes it, right? <laughs> even <laughs> adding, even, <laughs> even adding, like support. She's not sure that she wants it, and she's not sure that she has the money for it. Blah blah. We walk down the street the whole time thinking, I really want this fur jacket. But now I couldn't articulate that because it felt like it was almost like unfair or unjust to now want the jacket mm. that she'd already fit. Yeah. Um, 
and that night guys i was so touched because I, I i now needed to vet so then we went back she bought it um but i needed to evaluate my behavior i was like why would you offer somebody something that you want like yeah. you wanted it mm. you definitely wanted it you definitely <laughs> wanted it and now you like it's almost like you're thinking like being selfless is so noble but at the cost of like yourself of being able to just say i mm. want it like and so it's like almost like not feeling like you have the right to say i want it as much what? as you do yeah. and i'm gonna go for it with you so you'd rather just like either leave it or just like it, it was very wow. very illuminating for me because sure. it made me think of all the other times where i realized you actually have never learned how to say what it is you mm-hmm. want mm-hmm. and to say it honestly and without like shame like figuring out how mm-hmm. it fits for the other person well so it means that you 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 prioritize the other person's needs more yeah. but it but then it puts to question like your own sense of worth right like it's mm-hmm. like you don't know what cause ultra like you don't mm-hmm. it's not a big deal yeah. and i think sometimes it's like it's placing overestimating that the importance of that moment yeah. for the other person yeah. yeah when it's actually the other person might have just been like yeah, actually just oh, the first second yeah, yeah. Like, i can't do who here you know so that was really mm-hmm. really an interesting moment do you want to do you want to like unpack it for for your future for like for the next six months to understand its root so that you don't yeah so i definitely i think there's like mm. a root issue there i kind of got a con- revelation of it like it's mm. it's like there was a time in my life where it was really important to be selfless as a building of character in yeah. christ and i think i've like held on to that as being an an important virtue mm. without growing it without growing it yeah. um so it's almost like a stunted child yeah. but you're acting out of it and now it's not serving you anymore yeah. but that's yeah. not what necessarily god wanted out of stunted every other child. motive like that is so good that, yeah right? that's good yeah. that's very really good. good so that was mm. the definite revelation for me i was like you need to grow <laughs> mm. you need to grow like virtue is not a singular it's not a very narrow yeah. view of what you should do it's so good and it's not virtuous when it's Ooh, it's so very good <laughs> you know <laughs> it's no longer virtuous it's actually frustrating and it's scary to do that to yourself. It's good. Yeah. For me the other thing that's been happening this year is feeling like everything's coming to an end. So very aware like mm. you know I've been a student. That's the yeah. only way I've known myself. Mm. For the last 10 years I've mm. known myself as a student, right? Yeah. Um and so now it's like I'm so aware of like I was talking to them earlier about black tax next year. Like, yeah. My mind is opening up to the realities of Girl, there's another side of you that you're going to have to know and understand and be yeah. comfortable with and set boundaries for and mm. you know mm. all of that. Yeah. Um so with all of that finality also comes like ends of seasons. I'm part of worship team at church. So I'm, I'm finishing that. Mm. I'm finishing this and I'm finishing that. But it's a very interesting thing because when you reflect, you then wonder like what was the impact? What did what did it really mean, right? And I was, mm. I was speaking to my dad and I was talking to him like, "Yo, dad, I, I would mm. not want to work in Cape Town next year." no way is and it's like okay yeah. so that's because of the 10 years that you spent in Cape Town you feel that you've done enough so if you spend another 2 years let's say of internship in Cape mm-hmm. Town what if those are the most impactful years yeah. mm-hmm. you know how why is your metric the number of yeah. years you spent you have no idea what could happen in the next mm-hmm. years so like it's, it's almost like my brain there's a part yeah. of me that's just like opening up yeah. to the fact that there's a whole other side and I'm going to take care of people for real like yeah. you know And it just kind of feels like guys my my dream's going to start you know Exciting. I've wanted this so bad and it feels like I'm actually going to be a doctor and like that's exciting it is it's so interesting it's so exciting. but as you're speaking I was thinking about this quote where this guy says that a man can never see a, a river twice because mm. the second time he goes to the river he's a different man and therefore the river is a different river Yeah. <laughs> so I think oh. about it in the context of even moving back to Cape Town. So I remember coming back and looking around and being like it's so familiar, but I feel so different in this space. No. This year I had a crush. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a girl. I had that's open. I had a crush. It's just a just a, a little crush. Hey. And then the what happened, girl? Hey. I had a crush um on this boy who I thought was really cute and a nice person. He is, he is. Uh, <laughs> and you know the, the one thing I was trying to understand about mm-hmm. the crush this year. The boy. Like, why so there were so many instances where I was like I want to have a conversation with him. So in the event that we continue being friends, I just wanted to be like, "Yo, oh. so at a point I had a crush on you. I thought you were attractive, and I just thought I wanted to tell you so that we can carry on being friends." Yeah. And I was like, there's so many moments where I was like, "Now is the time." How was your day? <laughs> But it made me think about why is that so hard? Because you are a great person, 
Mm. Intrinsically, you are attractive. So having a crush on you isn't absurd. Mm. So why is it so hard That's to so just be like, you're a fantastic mm-hmm. human. Mm-hmm. You're really a- <laughs> Oh, best, the best. Come on, girl. I, I just, I just wanted to bring everything. <laughs> she's that is, that, she's <laughs> ruined the story for you. I'm saying that's the reason that you are struggling to say it. Do you think so? Yeah. I was trying to understand the entire time why it's so hard to. And I mean, the reason you mentioned maybe yeah. part of it. But even if the person is yeah. your age, do you think it's easier to be like, listen, you're some... great. I liked you and. I just I, want to I have you. done it before. Yeah. Were you free after that conversation? Like, oh, yeah. So my boring. my actions were preceding me. Mm. You know. <laughs> girl, the girl, the best. My actions were preceding me. Like, I I, I remember thinking, mm. these hugs that you are giving, yeah, they they are more. And so at some point, I just was like, listen, yeah, this is how I feel. But but I won't lie. The only reason that I could I could say it is because he knew the homie I, is. I could tell that yeah. nah yeah there was something. Mm. I don't know if in absence of any kind of mm. hints if I would have been that bold. Mm. But I was able to just say and when I said it, freedom. Yeah. Freedom followed, right? Mm. Maybe. For me, a, a last reflection on this year is I think peace, ne? I'm gonna speak in parables. Shaz, don't bite me. Um <laughs> I think peace comes from when you your lifestyle is closest to your values. Yeah. yeah. And I think often when there's an incongruence between that, mm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's an absence of peace. Yeah. Right? And mm. I think that's a big lesson mm. for me going into the next part of this year. Because I think there's times where you're like, I'm, I can do what I want. Like, I can, mm. you yeah. know, this is my life. But I feel like you have a particular lifestyle that maybe you have lived all your life that you value. Mm. And, and your values are just important. They're important for a reason because they protect you in yeah. so many different ways, right? Mm. So that's a definite lesson. And I think in the next six months, as hard as it is to do the right thing, it's it's hard to do the right mm. thing. It's so hard to do the right thing. Mm. Um, but I think when you know what the right thing is for you, yeah. live it and do it, right? Mm. Like, I like what you said, your mm. values protect you. They protect you. They really do. That's good. They really that's do. Really good. They really do. Um, the one thing I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to going back to cycling. I went to get my bicycle um, service, yeah, service Saturday. Well, pumped. They just, they just yeah. like, wow. And I cycled like for about. It was just like like maybe 45 minutes, but it was so good. Mm. So I'm looking forward to getting back into routine. I want to wake up a little bit more early than I have been in the last six months, and being a lot more doing what's required of me. Yeah. The girl needs to be serious. <laughs> I need to be so serious. I, I honestly like pick up the work. Like, I need to pick the work ethic needs to come back to order. My, my, uh, like, but my mom will keep me in order with that. But so that's where I am in my life. And next six months, just order. I'm looking forward to my granny's hundredth birthday. Oh, that's that's amazing. amazing. The lady is turning a hundred. Oh, wow. So I'm really amazing. looking forward to that this year. Yeah. I mean, the next six months. And like everyone coming together, obviously for that. Mm. I am looking forward to blogging again. Oh yeah! So I want to start writing for fun again because so much of my mind and attention has been on the novel, and I've always had this idea of writing about books and people, yes. and potentially music as well. So having like these short posts about books I'm reading yes. and what I'm learning, but also these short posts about people where I'll be like, today I met profile of the person yeah. and basically just write about what we spoke about and what mm. I thought yeah. um, about oh. the conversation yeah um, so like while well, we're on that I want to say what I want go check out my blog it's called Seashares Apple Crunch I'll put a link to the say yeah. slowly say slowly Seashares Apple Crunch dot com okay I'm the only one who's not blogging I think <laughs> the life of a medical of a medic <laughs> oh yes this is incredible a blog though <laughs> Shout out the blog. Her blog is called uh, Barefooted Me- Wow. Barefooted Medic? Yeah, a barefooted medic. I'll put the link in. It's incredible. She writes about medicine and books in South Africa. Incredible, incredible blog. She's mm. a medical doctor, yeah. Bye bye bye. the life of a medical doctor. This is the blog. Sh- uh, Messi should be doing health and faith. And it would be so good. That's a, man. That's I-, I would read. Faith and. Because in another life, I want to be a doctor. Yeah, Sharon wants to be a doctor, girl. Okay? Cool. I don't know if you're willing to sacrifice six years. Would, would you actually guys tell us would you want con- more faith based content on our channel mm. let us know what more you want because there's so many different facets of who we are we exercise yeah. we read books um, Missy's a doctor we like there's so many different things faith yeah. as well like 
is that stuff that you want to hear more of and what are the particular things that you want to develop in your life over the next six months and how can mm. we contribute more meaningfully i guess and having like real life conversations on mm. more eternal things Hey, hey, hey! I mean, I mean, I always say, "Hey, hey, hey!" Be a Christianity by C.S. Lewis. Has oh, your yes, girl yes, says, yes, 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 it's that's just... a book. That's a book. Show it. And I'm reading actually. Yeah. yeah. Mia. Mia yeah. Christianity. Yeah. Show, show, show the by C.S. Lewis. That book there. Um, Where's it's that? it's that? an incredible read for anyone who is struggling to understand the Christian faith. Yeah. It's huh? hard to understand. Come on, they used to focus. <laughs> no, really, like faith is hard. Like faith, you have that to come. Just, just you have to trust me, okay? It says mere Christianity. It's not focusing. Come on, how come? Be better. Come on, the I best. Can do better. <laughs> the best. The best. Sure. <laughs> the best. Uh, ah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. Auto, it's not an auto. There, mere, mere Christianity. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys doing? This girl. The tone of even trying one has changed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, you said you said you're gonna get off of that. No, she just said bitch. <laughs> the the shock. The shock. Guys, yeah, thank you so much cool. for hanging out with us. Thank you. And Bye. We'll see you next see time. You soon. Bye. Cool. Bye. Okay. Uh, it's a good idea to come to your room. Yeah. yeah. It's like we should.